Hey guys, it's Joe from Joe High Photography. You can check out my website at joehigh.com. Today we are in Lightroom. I finally purchased my copy of Lightroom Creative Cloud and I am thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. And I've just been going through some photos from a senior portrait session that I did recently and I'm very happy with the results and I thought, hey, you know what would be cool? Do a little behind the scenes video of showing some color correction in Lightroom CC. So here we are and we're going to do it. This is the photo I'm going to be working on right here. I'm pretty happy with how the colors are right now, and I've got this nice blurry background and this lovely model right in the middle. Well, she's not a model. She was my model for the day because she's graduating next year and obviously wanted her pictures taken. So, anyways, moving on. This is what the picture looked like before the color correction. Okay, still a lovely girl in the picture, but um, everything else about it kind of sucks. So <laughs> we have uh, everything's kind of blown out. Skin tones are like this purplish blue, pale, looks like a ghost. Yeah, okay, so this is what the importance of color correction is. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to not give you a rundown of every single control that you have in the Lightroom color correction arsenal, but I am going to go through quite a few. And to be honest, I use like pretty much every control that's in here, I'll use it at least once per session. Maybe not per photo that I'm editing. But anyway, let's get to it here. When I'm editing a photo, the first thing I'm going to look at is what is the most important thing in the photo. That is the thing that I want to be correct in exposure and in color. So obviously, in this case, it's this girl uh, graduating next year. So I'm going to take the exposure, and that's the first thing I'm going to bring that down a bit and just to try to get her skin at the right tone. And I'm noticing that there's a nice, there's a pretty harsh highlight on the side. So when I bring it down to get that highlight where I want it to be, it's the rest of the picture and the rest of her face is too dark. So I'm actually gonna go and say, you know what, instead of bringing the exposure down, let's bring the highlights down, see what that does. Okay, that evens things out a little bit. I tried to, when I'm uh, fixing up photos, that like the first thing I'll do is try to fix what is most obviously wrong and I was thinking right there that it might be the exposure but I'm thinking that this skin tone is what needs to be worked on first so let's just try a few things here that could work um, let's try the white balance the skin is I think too uh, pale and blue so let's just bring this up to yellow a bit okay that, that kind of helps yeah that's a little better maybe if we add a little magenta in there yeah that's, that's not bad okay we'll leave it there now um, now we got that correct, the grass and the trees behind are a little bit too yellow for my liking. They're also very bright, so I'm actually going to scroll down here to these uh, controls for the individual colors. And uh, Now obviously, I guys, I've already done this all on the photo that I showed you at the beginning of this video. I'm doing it again so that you can see the behind the scenes. So anyway, these controls right here, these are incredibly, incredibly useful check them out if you are not uh, as familiar with the color correction thing honestly guys just go through get a picture and try every slide just start reading and see what kind of stuff happens this is pretty self-explanatory you have controls over all the pixels that have these values to them so for skin tones you're probably going to be dealing with the reds oranges and yellow but i'm going to go into trying to fix these trees and grass areas so I'm gonna say green. Let's see what changes with the green. Okay, that's pretty good at affecting the green without affecting the girl. So let's bring this to a bit more of a bluish green. And actually, a lot of times the greens in a photo will also be affected by the yellow. So if we change that, yep, that does it too. But that also affects her hair a little bit. Let me see here. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit more orange actually. All right, so the color is where I want it to be, more or less now. We'll probably change it again later. So now, instead of changing the hue of each color, I'm going to go into the luminance. That's the brightness of each color. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe we bring down the yellows a bit. Um, eh, maybe. What if we bring down the greens? Um, okay. All right, that's helping. That's helping. Um, hmm, let's see here. A lot of times the reds uh, will change some things on the face. Yep, if you brighten them up a little bit, you can make skin tones look a little bit smoother. Maybe if you brighten up the orange a little bit. Okay, if you brighten up the orange, that actually pretty much brightens her up. So if we brighten that and then take the exposure down a bit. Okay, okay, not bad. This is looking a lot better. 
Uh, one thing that I like to do almost on every photo is add a little vignette. So I'm going to go down here under lens corrections and add a little bit of a vignette. Just like that. Okay, pretty good. Now it's looking a lot better, but her skin is still not really that um, warm tone that I want. So let's see, what else can we do here? Should we just crank up the vibrance? Eh, I kind of like that, but eh, I'll leave it there, but it's not really fixing the skin. Uh, let's see, let's try saturation. Should we just crank up the saturation on this? Go! Oh, that's, that's too much. That's too much. Maybe just a little bit, though. Maybe crank up the yellows a little bit. No, that affects the grass a lot. Reds? No. Okay, so just a little bit on the orange. So this is this is color correcting, guys. Just playing with stuff over and over and over. Playing with little details here. Let's add a little sharpening into this. Okay, that helps a lot. We're definitely leaving that sharpening in there. Get a little noise reduction, too. Just going through and trying all of these controls. Um, it's obviously it's, it's going to be a lot easier for me or someone like me who's been doing this for a while and I know what all these controls do. And eventually when you play around with these programs over and over you're going to figure out what all these controls do as well and it's going to be quicker and easier for you to color correct um, a photo. Lightroom is just so great at doing this quickly and efficiently and non-destructively. Alright, let me see. I think that I had found out, okay this is one this split toning here, this is an effect that I've been hesitant to use, but it does come in pretty handy sometimes. And what it does is we can actually color the highlights, the brighter parts of the picture versus the darker parts of the picture, the uh, shadows here. So obviously there's a lot of highlights on her. She's a brighter area of the photo. So if I want her to be a little bit warmer, we can drag this over to this kind of orange area, or we can go up here and select wherever we want, but I'm going to just do it the other way. Right at somewhere in that orange range. And then I can start playing around with the saturation. And sometimes if I can't really tell the effect that I'm going to get, I'll bring up the saturation here and then drag the slide around. It's like, okay, that's more of the color I want, but I just don't want it to be that saturated. So let's bring this down and then bring it up to maybe about there. I think that's good. Okay, so I am very happy with how she's looking right now as far as color and exposure. I think that's excellent. So somehow we've got to isolate her color-wise from the background. Everything's got this yellow haze over it right now, and it's kind of cool, but it's not really my style, so I'm going to go in and try to get that um, more contrasted. Maybe if I take the shadows and give the shadows a bit of an effect too. Let's bring this up so I can see what effect I'm going to get. Let's try that purple there. I gotta be careful because it affects her face as well. So maybe if we just drag this up just a bit. Mm, it's not really the effect that I want. I'm just gonna take that down. Let's see, let's go back into the hues over here. Oh, let's take these yellows and try to get it. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting something. Yep. A little bit more green instead of yellow in the grass. We could probably bring that down a bit more too. Actually, the yellows, you know what? I kind of like bringing the yellows up. All right, here's a good trick for, um, I find that this one comes in handy a lot. Just, I'm not very fond of the color yellow at all, but particularly how it comes out in, maybe it's just me, but my photos, the way it comes out yellow, it's always this weird kind of greenish yellow. So you can come down here to camera calibration. You can control the red primary, the green primary, and the blue primary. And again, what each of these do, just drag it. Drag it back and forth. You can see what they do. Okay. And uh, red primary, I'll show you that effect too. Oh, actually, that's not, that's not bad right there. Oh, that might actually have nailed it. That's not what I used last time, but that might be just perfect. I was going to do the green primary. Yeah, that's not... Yeah, that's not bad either. Let's, let's, let's try both. Let's bring it up to there with the green primary and then bring the red primary down a bit. Not bad at all. Not bad at all with those color corrections. Um, we got a bit of a... Maybe a purple issue? What if we bring the white balance back a little bit? Ooh, wow, that really punches the grass a lot. Let's even bring, let's even bring the white balance more to yellow. Okay, I'm liking this. It's still got a bit of a yellow haze, but not a, not in a weird, sickly sort of way. I'm gonna 
pull it back a bit. I might have just gone back to where I started from. This is color correction, guys. Just playing around. Seeing what works, what doesn't work. All right, let's start playing with some of the levels here. Maybe if we bring the shadows down. Is that going to add any more? Maybe if we bring it up. Eh, let's not. Let's just leave them where they are. Uh, clarity. Hmm. Let's see. I think because of how this one is lit, I'm just going to bring it down just a teensy wit. Teensy bit. And let's see. The darks. Okay, yeah, this is gonna I'm gonna play around with this a bit. Bring that down a touch. Bring the lights down, up, down a little bit as well, and then take the exposure, bring it back. Up. Okay. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna go down here, right click, select create virtual copy, and on that virtual copy, I'm gonna go in whoops. I'm gonna go right click, develop settings reset okay that's where I came from that's with nothing I, I did have a little bit of, of a crop and some spot corrections or spot uh, removals but I just skipped that part because we're talking about color correction okay so yeah this is much warmer I'm gonna go ahead and delete that I just wanted to see where I come from the reason I did that is because you really do need to take a step back sometimes and refresh your eyes so that you can look at the picture unbiasedly. Sometimes you'll come back and you'll be like, you know that edit that I did that I thought looked so great? It really doesn't look as great. I'm going to pull it back a touch. And right now I'm seeing these kind of, I'm seeing the whole image is kind of over, uh, oversaturated. And oh, you know what? I brought the vibrance up. Let's let pull it back down. Okay. Let's just go ahead and bring it to zero. Now, take this white balance. I'm just going to play around with this white balance a bit more. Okay, let's see. Whoa! Alright. I'm really liking how this is right now. So we're going to go ahead and call that good. I think that... Okay, I'm going to change one more thing. On the grass, I'm going to take that grass and just make it a little bit less blue. Just a bit. Okay, uh, almost. Okay, stopping. There we go. So, we went through a whole bunch of color corrections here. You'll find that you could edit the same photo multiple times and like it multiple times, but you'll have done different effects each time. But, you know, that's color correction. Find something that you like. Fortunately, if you like this sort of look, like you find a, a good color correction that works for you, like I like this one, right click, develop settings, copy settings, then Lightroom will pop up this whole thing here. Um, I'm going to check all, and uh, well, I'm going to check all. Normally, you wouldn't want to check the spot removal of the crop, but for this example, we're going to. And uh, you could do this to each video or each photo in that sequence of pictures that are in basically the same lighting setup. So you would just go to the next photo, right click, develop settings, paste settings, and then poof. You got the same settings applied as your last picture. Anyway, there's a little bit of Lightroom color correction for you guys and a little bit of behind the scenes. This is what I do after, if you're one of my clients, this is what I do after I take your photos. I go back and play around with the color levels and do this for every single photo. So it's fun. I really enjoy it. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. This has been Joe High from Joe High Photography. You can check out my website at joehigh.com. It'll look something like this. Got a whole bunch of cool pictures to look through on it. And, of course, information if you'd like to get your own pictures taken. But in the meantime, you can click like on this video, comment, and subscribe. I will see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching.